Hey, what's up guys? It's Willie from Tilt. And today I'm here to bring you guys a brand new writer's guide. Let's get into it. Today, we're gonna be talking about a theory. No, not, not this theory. Also, not this theory. It's an interesting theory. The theory goes a little something like this. Today's writer's guide is about the theory three deck. Let's get into it. But first, we, we gotta open this up. So let's open up this box. All right, guys, right here is the theory three. So the reason that we wanted to come out with the theory three was basically to have a consistent branded tilt product that's readily available. There's been such a shortage of tilt decks recently that we wanted to come out with something that you guys could rely on. Something that you guys could go to the scooter shop, ask for, and they'll just have. Now it's not to say that here at Tilt, we're not cooking up some pretty cool stuff for the future. But in the meantime, we needed a deck that shops could rely on, and that's what this deck is. The Theory 3 deck is part of Tilt Stage 3 products, but it's really an evolution from the very first Tilt deck. Every single time a deck gets released by Tilt, there's little improvements that make the deck stronger and lighter. This deck is still very similar to the original theory and you still get some of the perks of the original theory in this deck, like the welded fender and the welded dropouts. Now there's quite a few other things about this deck that vary from the original tilt deck, but probably the most noticeable is the down tube. Tilt uses unique down tube geometry and welding processes to ensure that you guys are getting the best balance of weight and strength. The Theory 3 deck is a center weighted deck, meaning that it's not front heavy and it's not back heavy. This actually applies in all of the various sizes this deck comes in. Let me talk to you about those sizes. The biggest that this deck comes is six by 23. The next size down is six by 22. The next deck in size beneath that is the 5.5 by 22. And the last size in the Theory 3 decks is the 5.5 by 21 long deck. So there's actually one more deck in the Theory 3 collection, and that is the 5 by 20 deck. Unfortunately, I don't have that, but that deck is gonna be more designed for park riders and people who are a little bit smaller. So these decks actually come in two colors. Unfortunately, I only have the black one right here, but they come in black and raw. These, This black is an anodized black, and these decks are made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. The head tube, 3D machined. The down tube, 3D machined. The fender, welded. The dropouts, also welded. So there is one kind of major difference between the 5.5s and the six wides, and that is the bottom. On the 5.5s, you can see that it is completely solid on the bottom. There is no hole in the middle, but on the six wide, there is a hole in the bottom. And the whole reason that this hole is even here in the first place is to save weight. I've personally ridden both styles of deck, one that is completely flat and one that has the cutout in it. And personally, I honestly can't tell you the difference between them. In certain situations, on certain grinds, you would be able to feel that you're missing a portion of your grinding area, but on most every single trick, you're just not even gonna notice it. On 50-50s, you're really not gonna notice it because you don't even grind on that part of the deck. They use your standard one and one eighth integrated headset. They use a grade eight axle, which you can run 24 millimeter wide wheels with the spacers, or if you wanna take the spacers out, you can run 30 millimeter wheels. They also can run 110 and 120. 608 bearings are the bearings that will fit on this axle, which is basically every single bearing you would see on a scooter except for 12 standard bearings. Now something else that's really cool about this deck is that there's actually a little machined area inside of the dropout that your nut actually locks into. So when you're tightening up your back wheel, you only need one six millimeter Allen key, which is really, really convenient. That also allows the axle to be fairly short, saving you some weight. This axle is only 54 millimeters long. And these spacers and this axle come included with the deck for free. All right, guys, let's talk about how much this deck costs. If you guys go to tiltlife.com and purchase one of these decks, it will set you back $230. Now, I'm always gonna say in these videos, make sure you support your local scooter shop. And if you go to your local scooter shop and the prices are different, that's just how it works. Prices vary around the world, but if you guys wanna go buy them on tiltlife.com, they're $230.
Anyway guys, I think we have a beautiful range of decks right here that are great for all sizes of riders. I think that is something that's very important about choosing the right size of your deck is basically figuring out what you want to do with your scooter and finding a deck that'll best match that. All of the sizes that I mentioned to you today are very common and they're all sizes that people ride every single day. I would suggest if you're a younger rider or a smaller person, I would get a smaller deck. If you're a bigger person like me, I'm six foot two, I ride a bigger deck, which is the six by 23. I watched these decks change from the very first theory deck into what they are right now. And I can tell you that all of the little changes that have gone into it have made it a better product. And I'm so stoked for you guys to try these out for yourselves. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is white trash Willy. Make sure to go check out Tilt's Instagram, at Tilt Life. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next Writer's Guide. Peace out.